Having said that, Roland, um, I think that uh, the CDD report or the Afrobarometer report truly reflects what Ghanaians are expecting going into the 2024 elections. I, I have gone through it many times and uh, you asked the question that what are my personal observations as far as my interaction with Ghanaians are concerned. Not just Ghanaians here in, in Ghana, but Ghanaians also abroad. And broadly, these are the concerns that they are expressing. And when you look at the issues, I think all the 16 key important problems that have been itemized there, you know, more or less directly or indirectly affects the economy, whether it's water supply or corruption or electricity, one way or the other, they affect the economy. But the overwhelming majority are talking about unemployment. And that is why yesterday it was extremely important, because when you look at the demographics, you realize that a lot of the young people are those who are asking for jobs, creation of jobs, especially from the angle of the government. And that is why it was extremely important that the uh, vice president of the republic, the flag bearer and the leader of the new patriotic party, will once again re-engage because um, you realize that um, whilst on his regional tours, he also does these uh, youth connect as well. So he has been engaging with the youth. But yesterday it was extremely important that he remind them of three important things. In fact, four. One, that this government has demonstrated a lot of commitment as far as its policies, programs are concerned, which are geared towards making sure it creates jobs directly or indirectly for them. And two, to also remind them that he, His Excellency the Vice President, has a demonstrable record as far as being a Vice President is concerned because um, when you look at the history of the Fourth Republic since 1992, he has been the most active and most efficient Vice President we've ever had. And his record is there for us to see. And he has championed over 30 programs. Um, and when you read paragraph 60 of his statement at UPSC on February 7, 2024, uh, he, he indicated and revealed to us what mandate was given to him by His Excellency Nenade Danko Ekufuadu. And that mandate was to formalize the economy. And that he has done efficiently, and all Ghanaians attest to that. I'm talking about the mobile money into probability, the paperless system at the ports, and all the other digital things that you can, you can think of. So for me, uh, it was extremely important. And then the third important thing was to remind them that all, the alternative is dangerous. That his opponent, or uh, uh, the former president, uh, uh, President John Dramani Mahama, uh, is not somebody they can rely on as far as provision of employment is concerned because uh, his record indicates that when the youth of this country once again were looking for jobs sometime in 2012 when he was going to become the, uh, the, the president of this republic, at the time he was even the caretaker president, and he had been the vice president before. He told them he wasn't a magician to provide them with jobs. Uh, fast forward to 2024, yet again when Ghanaian youth are asking for um, some form of uh, jobs and something that will really form and shape their future in a better way, he has proposed that uh, he will bring unexplained 24-hour economy policy, among other things, will be to go to the nightclubs 24 hours, and also to provide them with inkuko buon kete kete and inkuko kete kete. So there was the need for the vice president to tell the youth of this country that they can rely on him because he provides the solutions that takes care of their well-being and their future. So when you look at the Afrobarometers report and what the vice president did yesterday, it's clearly an indication that he has the bold solutions to ensure that he will be able to address the unemployment situation. In as much as we have provided 2.6 million jobs, there are a lot that needs to be done. And he's committed to that because he has the, the, the competence and the skill. And when you look at the second most important thing that the good people of this country are looking up to, we are talking about infrastructure and roads. And in the history of this country, if there's any government that has provided more roads then it is Nanado Danko Ekufadu Baumian's government. We are talking about 12,830 kilometers of road. That has been asphalted, overlaid, rehabilitated, and all that. When we are talking about bridges, this government has done more than any government in the Fourth Republic. 
I'm talking about infrastructure. In every sector of the economy that demands and requires infrastructure, this government has done more and better than the government of the NDC, especially Mills Mahama and uh, Mahama Park Hussein Misata. So clearly, when you look at the critical issue, then you come to health. In the area of health or the health ecosystem, you realize that this government has built more hospitals than any government in the Fourth Republic. We are not, uh, not just about hospitals that were, were, were left abandoned, but those that were started from the scratch and have been completed. We are talking about the Vamed or the Eurojet projects. Nine of them that were abandoned, six have been completed as we speak now. The Sense Lensing and Adu Danko Ekufuadu has completed over 20 hospitals. We are not talking about even the Agenda 111. Very soon, I'm told that about 30 will be commissioned before the end of the year. We are talking about the drone system. That is, that, that is, that, that is something we haven't seen before. That provides essential drugs to our rural areas for those who really need you know, those drugs when you know, they, are, they are faced with one form of emergency or the other. So clearly, when you look at the problems and the challenges facing the good people of this country, you would identify that this government had made provisions and continue to make provisions to address these challenges. But what we are saying is that there are a lot that need to be done. And His Excellency, the Vice President, is committed to consolidate on this game and ensure that he brings his vision and priority. And these visions and priorities are the ones that will continue to ensure that at the end of the day, we all admit as a people and as a government, but economically, we are not in a better place. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of things need to be retweaked and tweaked. And that is why he's coming with his tax policies. When you talk about making sure the youth participate in the fourth industrial revolution, he is there to give it to them. We are talking about making sure he makes the uh, business environment or, uh, uh, you know, friendly. His tax policy is there to address all these challenges. So for me, it is clear that when you look at the challenges, the government and the political party and the individual that can be able to address these challenges as enumerated or identified by the, the, the people of this country is His Excellency, the Vice President. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and I am clear in my mind, I'm certain from day one when he was elected at the flag bearer, that this is the man to take us into the better future. Um, the, 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 was it last week? I saw that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia went to MIM and then uh, inaugurated the polyclinic there. Sure. So is, is it part of the Agenda 111 project? Uh, no. You are not too no, sure? I'm okay. not too sure. Uh, how many of the Agenda 111 uh, projects have been completed so far? There are I, I, 111. I don't. I have the figures here, but if you permit, maybe later I can later come back can. to it. Right. But I know we can come back on it. I know by the close of um, maybe next month. Mm. I know the date, but I'm not sure. Next certain. month is uh, 30, December. Wait, wait, wait. No, next month. No, actually this month. Actually this month. Okay. Uh, sometime, so by the close of November. Uh, yeah, uh, about thirty will be commissioned. Okay, uh, so some have been commissioned, but I mean proper let me, commission. Let me write will it be down. Here. Just write it. Down. Thirty mm -hmm. agenda. Will be done. Number. So. Uh, we are doing a lot in these areas that, for me, uh, have been... By identified. close of November. Yes. That, that, that's what I've been told. By Yesterday I was told November. by my, 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 my colleague. So, Kofi Ameo. <laughs> so uh, uh, Roland, I mean, the, 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 the fact is that... Please if, wrap up for me. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the fact is that if there's any government really and truly mm. that do have the, the, the policies and programs to address these challenges by Ghanaians, Indeed, is the MPP government. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nana Dakun said I should tell you to list the hospitals you have built. Nana, Nana oh, That's easy. Uh, so, so you say you get, you get it. I can, I can give you uh, some uh, now. So.